Yeah, so uh, false tones. False. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> last week, yes. <laughs> well, again, this was taught to me when I was on a band in New England uh, when I was 16 years old. And I was the a dance band, Ted Herbert's band, and they had two trombone players on that band. Oof, I, I was 16, I'm making some money playing third trombone next to these two giant <laughs> trombone players. One of them was a shoe worker from Haverhill, and his name was Frank Zelliga. And his trombone was held together with electric tape. Whoa. No kidding. And he had a sound to kill for, playing ballads and playing lead trombone. He, he, he had the same effect, actually, as a watcher's as Watrous does today. Mm. And uh, um, this other trombone player was a, a who now is a well-known uh, composer of concert band music and a great trombone player. His name is Eddie Madden. And he showed me, he would play these lines Usually marches, uh -huh. you know, rock a da, rock a da, and it'd be <laughs> with the fake tones. And I'm going, that was an E flat. Yeah. And I'm, uh, how the hell, how the, how'd you do that? And he said, well, that's easy. And he had this system that uh, I've used ever since. And to me, the use of the fake tones is not a musical moment, really. It isn't, it's 90% you and only 10% your trombone, you know. Mm -hmm. You really gotta have control of your air column because boy, that focus and the velocity is, is the secret. Mm -hmm. So you're playing regular G flat, that feels great, fifth, right? That's first and that's a fake tone. But that in itself, you can hear in the difference in the sound that it is not a real tone. Sounds like a saw wave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and F was also in uh, second. Again. emptying out your uh, your diaphragm mm, the note wouldn't dare stay in the horn e third e flat d d flat c b mm. i get dry Oh, yeah. Those are all fake tones, though. Actually, he didn't teach me the first three. He just showed me the uh, first one, which was E flat and uh, fourth, and it was always one position lower than the other. Mm. And I've always stuck to that. Mm. So you're going. got the fake tone an octave below but first of all for the smaller bore horns that's a 500 bore size mm -hmm. up to some some guys uh, 547 mm -hmm. usually they don't have to go quite so soon because they've got a larger bore but if you take here's your pedal B flat A A flat G take the mouthpiece and shove it up under your nose and the bottom lip is on this bottom rim, right down there on the bottom. And you're going. There's your G. G flat, fake tone. One. F, six. Two. 
seven, three, E flat, four, D, D flat six, C, that's seven. And you have to lift down the B, you know, it ain't there, you know. Mm. And then you got double pedal. A, A flat, G, G flat, and don't forget the fake tone, <laughs> F, but there's another false embouchure, which is the reverse of the first one, which is up, up, down, uh, to the bottom, and you're going all bottom lip. Now, there's no point in doing any of that, except it works like a vibrator on your chops and gets restores any damage you might have done getting the circulation going in your chops. And also for young players who are often very tight like this, like that, uh, the fake tones, getting them to open up the bottom range, of course, this one. Mm -hmm. But number two, to get more vibrating surfaces of your uh, of your chops yeah. into the mouthpiece. So it's a very useful tool, you know, and it is a tool. It's fun, of course. Yeah. So you know. would you play it like say on gigs where you were having to play really hard and loud and? I once had to open a concert for uh, the chorus at the New England Conservatory yeah. on a fake E flat. The, the bass trombone player took sick. To be honest with you, I forgot if it was a fake E flat or a D. Mm -hmm. And the whole chorus with, with Van Doren conducting. <laughs> things where you went, you know, the mm -hmm. in, in come the string section, <laughs> yeah, okay. and the whole chorus goes, Whoa, you know, You're and right. it's the whole opening of the whole damn right, evening, right. you know, yeah. it was the first note of the whole it's concert. It's got to be epic. No kidding. <laughs> and uh, I made it. Nice. As such as it is. That's cool. Yeah, it So was. it does have a practical use, you know, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Every once in a while somebody writes a chart that's a good chart, but it uses an E flat, for example, mm -hmm. down there, forgetting about it, the, the, the uh, end of the range, you know. Hello, you've been watching the adventures of Phil Wilson and Paul Patron Bonus. This is video number 10 in the series. If you haven't checked out the other ones, there's going to be a playlist down in the description. We uh, thank you for stopping by, and if you get a chance, uh, share this video, like the video, and uh, comment down below in the comment section.